I had a lot of questions when the news first broke that a lot of teams voluntarily took themselves out of the Lamar Jackson sweepstakes. Not that teams such as the Panthers, Commanders, and Raiders are teams that wouldn't be substantially better with Lamar Jackson running their show. When I read that the Atlanta Falcons were out on Lamar Jackson, I almost fell to my knees. However, I had to get to the bottom of this because I knew that their sign of Taylor Haneke could in no way be an indicator that they were set at the quarterback position. And then I thought about it. And the more curious I got about the situation, I then found myself watching film of those last four Atlanta Falcons games. And I found the hidden gem. Desmond Ritter has extreme promise as a starter. And we're going to dive into these last four games to showcase exactly why. I knew Desmond Ritter since the Cincinnati playoff appearance. And at the time, I thought he would have at least been a late first round pick. But we also have to mention, this is the draft class in which all quarterbacks except Kenny Pickett took a drastic fall. However, none of that matters as much as what you do when your number's called in the NFL. First game up, we have the Saints. Three of the key notes during this evaluation is that they're playing without what is arguably their best pass catcher. In addition, the New Orleans Saints finishes a top five defense and the second pass defense in all of football. So. On the bright side, we have to remember, the Atlanta Falcons have a dominant run game, and this isn't the strongest opposing offense that Ritter has to keep up with. First play that I have here, I want to start by saying that Desmond Ritter looked more developed than expected after not playing all season. I loved his pocket awareness and movement within the pocket, and right here he shows his ability to create. Initially, he tries to step through and scramble, but once Cam Jordan closes down the gap, he doesn't give up on the play. Instead, he scrambles outside and gives his receiver a chance. Despite the incompletion, this is a good throw considering the situation, and it's only a matter of the receiver not getting his feet down. Right here, I think that Desmond Ritter shows some guts. In a guy's first start, you really just want to see what he's willing to throw versus what he isn't willing to throw. And this throw in this out route against man coverage with the rusher in his face shows me that he fully believes in his ability because this is a tough throw. In a perfect world, this ball would be more to the sideline, but the Falcons luck up with this pass interference call here because I really don't see the pass interference. So at the least, worst case scenario is because of throws like this, you force the defender to be perfect. Now this is an instance in which I saw Ritter not be confident in his read, which was actually rare when watching film on him. And now I'm going to go out and say it. The Saints have just about the most complex defense that I've seen on tape with use of rip and Liz and heavy pattern matching. Right here, this is one of those looks and it's a long yardage situation. Everything is covered, but pay attention to Ritter. It's that extra hitch before he delivers the ball that I really didn't understand when Cordell Patterson showed open immediately. So on this play, I want to talk about Drake London and Desmond Ritter's connection. At first glance, this may look like a risky throw, but the deeper we dive into it, this is high level thinking and some nice ball placement. I just spoke about the pattern matching and the fact that this is not a static zone team. So a lot of their zone coverages will end up turning into man coverage depending on the route concepts. And understanding how this route concept will play against the defense pre-snap, that's extremely smart. Drake London literally is the only option here, other than a forced goal ball to the outside. Not only does he process that, he and London show chemistry, that this ball will be a little inside, but you can go take it from a linebacker. You have the ball skills to go take that. And also on the contrary of that, we have the understanding that if this ball is any outside, that's the defensive back and we're risking a turnover. We don't do that. First down. And plays like this are absolutely terrifying. Risking a pick six near the goal line, Adebo just baits him. And I don't know how he didn't see him, but again, a rookie mistake. I'm more so focused on how you bounce back rather than what you did right here. I understand this, but what'd you do next? Final play, I want to show this from the game because it's another turnover worthy play. And potential viewer who plays defensive back, this is absolute teaching tape by Paulson to Debo, and truly this was a dogfight of a game. 13 of 26, 97 yards, playing a top five defense, second and pass defense, on the road. In all seriousness, anything that he did good in this game was the talking point because this is a really hostile situation. Now, funny thing is, he went from a top five defense to the number six defense in the NFL. 
However, this is a significantly lesser passing defense. So here we get the juices flowing with delivering an out route versus man coverage on the run. Nice effective play. And in this game, this version of Desmond Ritter felt different. The rhythm was there, precision was there, truly handled the game from under the center in this performance. Again, that connection between Ritter and Drake London. Got a one-on-one -on -one versus Marlon Humphrey and he wins, but notice that Kyle Hamilton passes the crosser to the linebacker and attempts to get underneath Drake London's route. For Desmond Ritter, that's too late, your back is turned, the ball is there. Another play against man coverage gets the connection. Now this is a very clean pocket, and notice the ball is higher than you'd like and higher than it needs to be. Drake London does have a great catch radius, but this play could be simpler, and that's the only thing. Fast forward, we got another throw to Drake London in the sweet spot of the zone, and you can really tell that he's feeling it at this point. Another throw here versus a cover three blitz, and I like his pocket movement in this play. I think the biggest thing that we can see from this game is the difference in defenses, which can be a cause for concern and also a good thing. It's concerning because the Saints are a division opponent, and it's good because this game at least showcases the fact that we should expect more of this rather than what we first saw against the Saints. Now the last play I want to show from this game is an absolute dime. Got a cover three look with the strong safety stepping down and the free safety rotating into the middle third. Ritter understands that this is a safety and although he's going to squeeze the hook tighter than a typical linebacker, we have the outside third occupied just enough to where he can put this ball over you, but that's what he does. Also, having the accuracy to not place it too high and let Marlon Humphrey fully recover and get in a pick. Great ball. And truly watching the beginning of the video, you may have thought that this take would be a tragic turn of events, but the tape got better and better and better. Right here we got cover six from Arizona. And when talking about coverages, what's the biggest cliche? They can't cover forever. Now this is a play that I love because it's again, that ability to create Remember, Ritter is a 4-5 or five guy, so he can definitely move, and as he rolls to the right, a guy shows open, ball. Now, I'm going to be completely honest in the fact that the Cardinals consistently showcase some of the worst defense I have watched in the NFL, and we see a wide open completion right here in the seams, but now I want to translate and really finish out with the plays that I think are noteworthy in Ritter's evaluation. Now, when looking at Ritter's deep ball placement, the fairest thing that I can say is that it's solid. The arm strength is not elite, but it is enough there, and I think their receiving core is attributed to this as well. But right here, Ritter delivers a dime to the mirror bird under the wrist, and he drops it in the basket. Just so good of a throw that I cannot be the only one seeing it. Now, by this point, I believe that I've showcased everything Ritter can do, and in Tampa Bay, it was really more of the same. He even got his first two touchdowns. But I want to give my overall opinion on Desmond Ritter. I think he's a very smart and mature football player, and that was shown in stepping up in limited action. I wouldn't call him a running quarterback, but he does possess some straight line speed if needed, and he's shown that he can create when nothing is there. The arm strength and deep ball placement left a little to be desired, but I think with the addition of Mac Hollins and Kyle Pitts' return, they'll be better off. My biggest knock on him is up to this point, his accuracy. When I watch Desmond Ritter, I think he struggles with the change of pace aspect of throwing the football. Sometimes a guy needs to be quote unquote sat down with the football. Sometimes he needs to be thrown open and sometimes he needs to be hit in stride. But there is no question that Ritter's the type of guy who doesn't consistently work on his craft. I think he's the first one in, last one out, quote unquote. In addition, I think he can go through progresses a bit more, especially with the offensive line that he has in Atlanta. And at the same time, I kind of like the fact that he's decisive in his reads. So it's more so about picking your spots, when to fire, when to wait. Overall, I see him as a plus starter, but not elite, which is totally fine. A lot of teams have won Super Bowls, but a lot of quarterbacks haven't been elite. He's a guy who can get the job done, and right now the focus should be to build around Desmond Ritter and have Taylor Heineke as that buffer. What do you think? Who is the comparison? What is the ceiling? Let me know in the comments. We out.